Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. I'm Nicholas and today we are doing my long overdue XG special in which we are going to be catching up and uh, checking out um, four of their most recent music videos and that are um, the He Zonu and XG performance video, um, TGIF music video, um, new dance music video and puppet show music video so for over all oh, one thing we're not going to be checking out is winter without you you know just it's no longer winter anymore it's kind of wouldn't really fit in and you know um i'll leave that out for now um yeah so this like mentioned going to be a catching up of sorts where i like mention check all these music videos now for the very first time it's not my first time checking out the songs though yeah i will be honest with you here because um what basically happened is that the album yeah released back on my birthday um and on that day i remember i actually tuned into the album on spotify but i never checked out the music videos from anything involved here today now like mentioned um i did check out those songs but like that was so loosely it was like you know just very loosely without the music video like mentioned and it was also a long long time ago as a matter of fact i could even give you the exact numbers here via my Spotify app, let me take a screenshot, mirror it or whatnot. Um, basically, it's 93 streams on Girl Gang. Yeah, that's the one. I've also seen a music video for that one long before the album came out. Yeah, I will be honest with that. We can't react to that because of that. Um, but then I have overall only six streams on TGIF, four on New Dance, three on X Gene, one on Puppet Show, not even one stream on. Um, again, I've no idea to pronounce it. He's so new. You know what I mean. Um, and that, like mentioned, all months ago during the album release, I think TGIF, as example, I've listened to once every month going forward, you know, so, like, I've heard them before, but I... Not really, okay? I, like, really haven't listened to those songs enough to, like, even be able to tell you right now how they sound like or, you know, to recall them, yeah. So, it's a 100% blind music video reaction, but not a 100% 100% blind music reaction, even though, like mentioned... It's still very loosely for me to the point where I barely even really know the song yet, even if I have streams on them. Um, that beforehand, yeah, like mentioned, wanted to be honest here with you and not be like, oh yeah, this is my very first time listening to the songs. No, it's not, but like mentioned, it will be very different, obviously, to now watch those music videos with the song rather than just... I don't know, listen to this song once at 2 a.m. on my birthday, right? Um, anyways, enough talk, enough intro, let's kick things off with this performance video of the two short songs from the album. It actually released last from the entire album output, but I'm putting it first now because, like I mentioned, it's short, it's, it's, it probably works well as an intro. Let's check it out. Izuru and Exchange. Like I mentioned, Girl Gang was incredible. I've seen it once so many times. Actually insane. Let's see if those music videos can keep up here, yeah? Because that's a high bar. Go Gang's MV was insanity. So was his own actually more of an intro? Again, I have no single stream on it. Very atmospheric though, and visually way more minimalistic than Go Gang. Here we go. Ooh. Mm. Mm. My god, Yurin is insane though. Coco, mm. nah. I can't tell a few names. Not all of them though. Harvey? Ooh! Uh, one of my favorite things about XG are their lyrics. Their lyrics are so heat. Uh. And the vocalists in this group are also so good. 
because I actually forgot to mention something. I mentioned I can't recall this whatsoever. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's sick. Okay. I wasn't even able to focus on the choreo that much. I think I definitely want to check out that second part again. What I didn't mention beforehand was, obviously, I had listened to XG before, and especially Left, Right, and Shooting Star. We reacted to those music videos back in the day. Check that out if you haven't yet. Both those songs, 10 out of 10. Yeah, both of them were in my top 100 um, most listened to songs video. Um, Left, Right, actually, my 25, 25th most listened to song last year. Um, the music videos of those songs are absolute 10 out of 10. The songs are absolute 10 out of 10, from the rap to the vocals to the bridge and whatnot. Those two songs really made XG such a standout group for me. And honestly, the only reason why I never checked out those music videos here beforehand was really because I just wasn't in a good place at that time. Yeah, like the last four or five months of 2023, I barely made capable reactions. I was just very loosely active on the year hand, so just, you know, never got the motivation or energy to actually give this release this album ADP um, the attention it deserved you know um but like mentioned you know huge turn of those songs before already um and I think I remember actually the reason why I didn't check these two songs out that much when I did have that short checkout session of that album when the original release was because of the length yeah I'm yeah I'm, I'm a criminal when it comes to that the moment I see a song is very short it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a you know kind of not as motivated to check that out. But honestly, X Gene for its around one minute runtime, I think. Damn, sonically just incredible. You and it is something else, dude. And again, the lyrics, like mentioned, in Left, Right, and Shooting Star, already so smooth. And it just remains the same here. Mutated DNA, Extraordinary Room. Oh, that's so smooth. And that line too, pack of 7 equal none, that equal 1. All I can think of now already is why isn't this longer? Oh. She was the one that did the shooting stop records, right? Again, I'm not too familiar with all names yet. But the vocals in this group are so crisp, so clean, so smooth. And I've said it before. We haven't checked out the music video for Winter Without. I, I haven't yet, um, nor, you know, we reacted to it here today, but I've listened to Winter Without You already when it came out, and that, like mentioned, also vocally, XG really has it all. Yeah, like, when I think of XG right away, it's mostly the insane production and the insane rap line, but then I also just, you know, remember, holy moly, these skirts also can sing and do they have gorgeous voices. And honestly, XG does a great job at portraying that, both the choreos, though, but also, like mentioned, the rap is, it's not as into your face and attitude filled as other ones. Yeah, it's definitely a bit more, bit more on the atmosphere, a bit more on the aura, and it works so well. Okay, again, that this year, which I still can't pronounce, probably it really is more of an album intro, you know, whatever. But XG in for as short as it is, mm, so crisp, so on point. Wish it would be longer, obviously, but for the short runtime it has, it certainly delivers. Damn. Okay, that's for the performance video here. Yeah, like mentioned, especially the second half. Incredible. Next up is TGIF. And like mentioned, that is the song from that album alongside Girl Gang that I had listened to the most, even though, like mentioned, it's it's only six streams overall thus far. Um, as a matter of fact, I could even give you the exact dates. Yeah, again, no no um uh promotion or whatever, but the stats app is just incredible. Here we are. I had one stream on it in August. Oh, true, this was actually a pre-release. I forgot, I think they, didn't they release like a music video for every song though? I think, no reason that I, you know, 
couldn't catch up with all of that. One one stream on it on August 5th when I think it initially released, and one stream on my birthday, like mentioned, with a full album released, and one stream in November, one stream in January, and then actually two streams last week, yeah, which is also one of the reasons why I'm now doing this, actually. Yeah, TGIF came up on my playlist again. I don't even know to which playlist I did add it, but that's why, you know, it has this one stream here and there, because I happened to listen to the playlist at that point. And when it came up on Sunday last week in the playlist, I was like, hold on, this is really good, actually. I've already forgotten about this. I listened to it again, and I'm like, you know what, we definitely should be reacting to those music videos now, finally, and here we are now. Um, so yeah, that's, you know... Like mentioned, one stream every month or so, or every second month since it's released, you know. I can recall it a little bit in comparison to the other songs, but still not that much. And like mentioned, now having the music video on top of that will make for such a different experience. Yeah, the music video always changes a listening experience so, so much. So let's check it out. XG's TGIF. I remember this song starts off loud, but I didn't expect a V to pop up right away too. I expect like a bit of an intro, but she's so cute though. I remember from the left and right of me, she's so cute. This pre-chorus. Mm. They look insane by the way. Wait, what is this music video, by the way? And yeah, that's what I, you know, when I when that song came on in the playlist, I was like, hold on, this chorus is dirty. Coconut? What is this music video? Again, I knew that line now already, but this line is so iconic. The drips a technique though. Again, lyrically so cool. But who is the whiter girl? Wait, isn't she the vocalist? She sounds so different here. What is this music video though? This music video is a fucking trip. The colors, the outfits, the, the, sh the shots, the cuts. Ah, oh, she's so cute! Harvey? this bridge both the pre-chorus and the bridge were like my wait a second this song is a banger moment last week what is this music video what a some of the visuals in this mv are just so trippy holy moly that shot too. Oh, but... <laughs> what is this music video? It's actually so cool and fun, but like, I'm also just weirded out by it, in a good way. I mean, yeah, shots like these here. Literally, right before events. It's a trip, okay? This, this, uh... <laughs> this music video is a trip, but so is the song. Like mentioned... I know it did have some sections already a bit in my mind, but, you know, seeing it now together with the visuals is definitely a different experience. But goddammit, no, I did wish I would have checked out this music video when it originally released, but again, I, I really couldn't. I just wasn't in, the, in a good place at that time. I just, you know, couldn't do that. Who produced this, though? Like, this, like the beat? Because this beat, holy moly. It's sick. It's easily one of the coolest electronic beats I've heard in K-pop in a while. Even though, again, oh, XG is in K-pop. They've, in my opinion, promoted and produced like a K-pop group. Hence, I know fully English songs, fully Japanese members. Still, okay, they're K-pop for me. Okay? Okay. Um. Anyways, this song, like mentioned, um, 
I know listened twice to last week again, hence I've had it a bit more in my mind again than the other songs, which I like mentioned can't recall whatsoever. And yeah, this song is such a standout. It's really unique, extremely different to any songs I've listened to from them thus far. Um, also just... Bro, what is this music video? What even is this shot? Did we know that, notice that at first? That we had a bit of an edit here before this came in. Music videos, like mentioned, the trip, but like mentioned, extra music videos are always a highlight, always an insane watch. Um, like just the, the editing, the outfits, it's just what the hell. But um, like mentioned, the way the song starts actually, like mentioned, I knew that the song starts off like that, but I didn't expect the music video to just jump right into it. Like I thought there would be like I don't know, a bit of an intro section, and then boom, we start. But nope. It just instant, instant noise. I've been looking the same, by the way. But then, like mentioned, Jesus. This beat is so simple, but oh. again, what's her name though? Was it Hinata? Again, I know Yuren by name. I know Harvey. I know Kokona. But then the other four are a bit more, you know, a bit more washy for me. But she's so adorable. She's so cute. I'm a ten. I know. Yeah, you know. But what to hide? This pre chorus, you know. Again, visually insane. Girl with the white wig here looks insane. Again, I think she's a vocalist actually, but she sounds so different here. And then here. This is such a good instrumental chorus. Very simple production. There's not too much going on actually, but like, still so in the forefront. Sick rap verse here. Just every part of the song is a highlight, you know what I mean? Kukuna, like mention, I can. I know her by name now already. This pre chorus, though. It's like making such a. You know? The sound design just is so. Mm, it's, it's so melting in the, in the sense of it just immediately melts into your ears. It's also such a club banger, yeah? This like mentioned electronic K-pop done in a really cool way. Ah! Harvey's tone and voice by the way, ah, oh, it's so cool. Oh, this na na na. So gorgeous. Then he had this very fun line on top of that. Oh, this little. In the beat. Then he had this now different sounding chorus. My third favorite actually song? I think so. I think alongside left left right and shooting star. This is probably my favorite of theirs. Okay, this music video is a fucking trip, but at this point I, I shouldn't even bother talking about it anymore. Wow. Yeah, that like mentioned I really wish I would have checked out sooner with the music video, but like mentioned I just couldn't really. Um yeah, this is this is a highlight reel, both in terms of music video and the song. From start to finish, especially like mentioned from the start on. There's just so much going on, there's never a break, there's always something happening, either, you know, in front of the screen that your eyes can witness or that your ears can focus on. Once again, it's just such a product. Yeah, both the music video and the song on their own right. So much is happening, but when you then combine both of them together, it's just a overwhelming experience, okay? Like mentioned, I did not already have the song a bit in the back of my mind, hence it was a bit easier, but I think if this would have been my very first impression of the song with the music video together, 
I wouldn't have been able to get a single thing because it's just so much going on, okay? In the best way possible, though, okay? This is a great um, way of overwhelming the listener with just too much goodness, yeah? Because it's great, yeah? The music video is great, the song is great, so many highlights, many, many standard moments for the individual members from the pre-chorus to the chorus to those lines in between, to the rap sections, to the bridge, especially the bridge I mentioned, the vocalists in this group are so good, I need to learn the names. Excellent stuff. Excellent. Alongside Left, Right, and Tuning Start as far, easily my favorite. Remember, the first two songs they released, Tippy Toes and Mascara, were like, okay, yeah, I, I, I see what we're doing here. We ranked it to both of them too. I like that. But then Left, Right, and Tuning Start were really the wow moment for me with them. Um, and I think where they also just found their footing a bit better. And thus far, now from what I've seen from this album, like I mentioned, I've heard a bit of it already. But like, you know, now from what I'm seeing here too, they really found their foot. And I'm like so excited for their comeback this year. Yeah, maybe even a full album. Um... But now I'm excited to check out the remaining songs uh, and music videos. Next up is New Dance, uh, like mentioned. I think I actually remember the chorus a little bit. Wasn't the very repeating one? I'm not too sure. Like mentioned, it's been a while. Actually, I can tell you exactly how, how long it's been. Again, this, this, this app, it gives you everything. Every single stream, every single, you know, whenever you did. I last streamed it back to my, on my birthday, okay? Literally, that was the last time I listened to that. Um, four streams in total, streaming history says, three streams actually on August 28th, I guess that's when it was initially released, and then one more stream on September 27th, my birthday, so it's been over four months now since I've listened to the song, so yeah, it's like mentioned so far away already, like I think I mentioned, I remember that the chorus was a bit lyrically repeating, we check it out, XG, do dance. Oh wait, this is very. Oh, this is so much brighter visually now too. Mm. Again, Yorin, she's insane. She's insane. Again, I'm not too sure with her name. Her clothes also though. That's what I remembered, yeah. This part here. But wow, this music video is so much brighter. Oh, very pretty. Oh, I love that hair on her here. That shorter in general looks so dope. Ooh, this is such a nice verse picture though. A lot going on, that, that bass here. Constantly pumping with that smooth guitar. Very nice. Again, that filter though. They like that white to gay retro style. I need to learn her name. I think like Ancient Sinata, she's so cute. This is definitely a summer bob. Black Ranger was released back in August, I think. Really fitting to summer, but... Why she so cute? Oh, I did not remember this bridge. Oh, but... Actually, vocal line. I like that setting, by the way. In the in the bowling alley with just light on them. But this is such good vibes, man. The rotations, they're dancing. It's so infectious or infectious. With the new supporter. Oh, 
Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, this is such a gorgeous summer bob. Coconut looks so pretty there, by the way. Oh yeah, that styling on her is insanely pretty, but... <laughs> what do you mean she can teleport? Is everybody having powers nowadays? <laughs> okay. Like mentioned, the only thing I really remembered from the song, from the audio, was this... Uh, I just learned a new dance, new dance, new dance, you know, which is like mentioned, a bit repetitive, you know. But I think it really works because the rest of the song is really, really variety-filled. Um, extremely fun verse picture. Uh, like mentioned, a very, very um, engageable beat that's like mentioned, really inviting you to dance. Yeah, this is what the song is all about. This is what this music video is all about. It wants you to move yourself and... As Harry said it there, got your hand bopping. Um, I was doing that the entire time out through, you know. So, like, they're achieving their goal, at least for me. Which is, like mentioned, just giving you a good time. Getting you to move yourself. And it's, like mentioned, a big difference, you know. Funnily enough, because both TJF and New Dance are actually dance songs. Both of them are dance songs, yeah. But, like, in such a different way. TJF um, is more of a club banger, you know. The type of song you get down to in the club. While New Dance is the type of song that you put on... On the drive to the beach, yeah, you're in your car with your friend group, you put that song on and all of you are just vibing together. Yeah, that's a, this is what I picture with this. Or you're out in the, I don't know, the forest somewhere on a, on a grass field with your, with your people, some flowers around you, boom, you put a new dance. And bam, right? It's such good vibes all around, like mentioned, very fitting for the summer where it was released in. Um, once again, also, the bridge is incredible, like mentioned, the vocal line in this in, in this group, so good, especially shooting song Left Right, sh showcases that so well, but TJF and this song also, in my opinion, do that as well. Um, yeah, chorus is fun and catchy, verses are really fun and engageable, the music video is just such good vibes, and once again, also very creative. Yeah, I think we do a lot of uh, cool things in here. Many, many cool locations. Big fan of the bowling alley. Then obviously the summer locations. And on top of that, the the, the wardrobe is cool. That's just once again a product we have here. If it's so complete. And again, I think the product is something so important. Because there are cases where the song might not be that insane. But the music video. So yeah, we all know songs that just hit better when you watch the music video on top of that. Yet there are also cases where the music video is like just whatever but it doesn't even need to be more because the song is already that good and i feel like xg is so incredible at excelling in terms of um you know in getting the best of both i feel like xg's products xg's releases yeah product for me is both the song and the music video it's just always a you know it's just always both the universe i've yet to see an xg music video at least, or like actually an XG song where the music video doesn't deliver. Like mentioned, both Tippy Toes and Mascara are like, you know, they aren't my top favorite songs, but like they're still good songs. But I feel like ever since, ever since Left Right, yeah, both the song and the music video have always been mm, on point. And then especially together, mm, because like mentioned, I did listen to New Dance already or TGIF, but like back then, mentioned wasn't the best place at that time, but like, you know, it obviously didn't catch me that much at that point for me to really listen to them that much. And now I have both the songs with the music videos on top of that, so both TJF's MV and now New Dances, and it's just instantly even better. And this is how it should be. XG's music videos make their songs that are already incredible feel even better. And that's like mentioned where XG at the moment has easily some of the best products in Cape. Their products are just... <clears throat> The music videos are a joy to watch, the songs are incredible to listen to. They really are a league of their own at the moment, genuinely. Like mentioned, I said it when we reacted to Shooting Stone Left Right already. I was like, holy moly, these music videos are 12 out of 10, and these songs are absolutely insane. I'm so excited to see if they can keep that up with their comeback, which I'm now finally probably checking out, and I can tell you, they are. Okay, this is on the same level as Left Right and Shooting Star. And if they continue to keep that up with the first comeback this year, damn, then I really have to consider them one of my favorites at the moment. Because like I mentioned, in terms of production, both sonically and visually, it's genuinely an absolute insane status. 
Again, she's so adorable though. I think she's I think it's seen out she's I don't know if it's the blonde hair or what it is about her, but like oh, whenever I see their their social media updates, anytime I see her, I'm just like, oh, she's adorable. But I do still think that Yurin is my favorite though. Yurin is actually, actually cracked. No idea where they got her from, but Jesus. What a what a good addition to this group and just the industry in general. Anyways. That's it for New Dance. Very enjoyable summer vibe. Yeah, like mentioned, such a good time. We just want to have a good time, you know. Perfectly fitting for that. Next up is Puppet Show, which I, like mentioned, only have one single stream on. One single stream, and that was back when it was released on September 27th. Yeah, 8 a.m. in the morning. The only time I've listened to the song thus far. So honestly, I can't recall anything. One listen five months ago. Uh, it's basically your first time listening. Okay, it just I can't recall anything of the song. So let's not wait any longer and check it out. XG Puppet Show. Oh my god, five minutes? Or nearly five minutes? Jesus. I mean this is definitely gotta have some extra portions though. Because again, I think TGIF is literally the entire song as a music video. Without an additional second. It's time I get what I deserve Act like you don't know what I'm worth mm -hmm. We spend a lot of time talking Ooh, the styling is... But it feels like I'm never Very fierce this time Listen to what comes out my mouth Oh! What is that look on Harvey? Harvey's such a stand by the way, it's just... You know, her voice is... Both of them actually Both Yurin and Harvey have such standard voices, you can just instantly tell us them. Oh, hold on though. What is this music video, by the way? Oh! Oh! Oh wow, I did not expect this chorus whatsoever. Oh, but it's kinda hitting actually. Tempo is getting slowed down, but like it feels heavier and more into your face. Oh shit! Don't like the look of this picture. You think that I'm in love with you? From your people. Kokona also like mentions. Play him like Atari. What a dope line. Hell yeah. But yeah, the, the sound design is so different here too. Again though, what is this MV? I'm guessing these are supposed to be the puppets, but like, what are we doing here? Boy, oh, this, this, this is such a whiplash. It feels so different to the verses in terms of tempo and production, but it's... Kind of slaps. Yeah, the way this. Bam. Vocal sections in their songs. I'm guessing this is an interruption for the B, and it won't be like that in the song. Wow, this the scale. What is happening? Welcome to the Oh, the wardrobe! Oh, I love those outfits. I look so royal and rich and gorgeous. And how many insane hairstyles have they had as well, especially Yurin. Holy moly. But like, her headgear too? Wow, that's an insane final section visually. 
Yeah, I think it's Hinata. And Chisa is probably, I think, is one of the other vocalists. Holy shit, though, what is this MV, by the way, again? It's, it's, it, the scale of it is actually... Wow. <laughs> like, genuinely scale. Like, everything in it looks so huge, you know? Not just scale in terms of production and cost for it, probably. When destiny and galaxies align. But also just, you know, what is going on here? Like, genuinely some... Outer galactic space stuff. There might be some hidden meaning behind it too, with all the puppets going around, but... Literally, clear me up about that. Damn, though. Damn, that was... That was one hell of a watch. Once again, like I said, sometimes, you know, the song is really great on its own, but, like, experiencing it with an insane music video on top of that can really, really, you know, make for a different experience. Where I could already, once again, say beforehand, another insane product. Song on its own is already insane. That in combination with this music video, whoa. Okay. Their production is something else. Now, the song itself, though. Very interesting. Uh, like mentioned, this is now my first proper listen to it. Again, it was 8 a.m. on my birthday day. I don't think I was able to properly listen to the song that day. Um, my first proper listen to the song. And... I actually think it's from the ones on that album, my least favorite. I think I definitely enjoy Girl Gang, X Gene, New Dance, and TJF all more than this, at least, you know, on the first impressions. Um, simply because it's not as catchy. I think all the other songs have something more catchy to them, which is a general sound design that is more towards my liking. Um, but it's still good, you know? And that's the thing. Actually, has reached a point where even, you know, their weaker stuff is still pretty damn good to the point where it's probably better than a lot of, you know, stuff that other people release, you know? Um, at least in terms of general quality. That's the thing now, you know? Even though the song is not as personally to my liking as the other ones it's still in terms of production especially visually but also sonically still an absolute statement yeah like I mentioned i think i remember saying specifically that left right and shooting star were a statement in terms of production level and they've definitely kept that level up here and this might actually be in terms of visuals their most insane music video to date i think i definitely enjoy other music videos more but um this is definitely in terms of the scale and in terms of how it looks like by far the biggest, okay? Especially this ending section here is just wow. Okay. Styling wise also really good, but like in terms of how the MV feels and of how the scale of it is portrayed, it's it generally feels massive. Big landscapes, insane amount of, you know, additional, you know, people here I don't even want to count how many, you know, extras that is. Like, holy moly, this this does look like a K-pop music video to me. This looks like... can't even find a comparison for it. It just feels, once again, which I probably also mentioned uh, back then, in comparison to the rest of the industry, it's really a standout of its own. Um, now again, song itself, verses are cool. Chorus comes a bit of S different or like it's very different compared to the verses but when you listen to it a second time it definitely grows on you a bit more personal highlight for me 100% the bridge their vocal sections are like mentioned so nice the piano comes in so smooth and so well and like mentioned here in terms of with the music video obviously in the song it will just be the chorus of third time but doing this chorus for third time with this little break in here and this insane visual on top of that obviously makes it a huge standout as well can scale is absolutely holy moly but this is visually wow their styling is insane here when i look at the jewelry the makeup the hairstyle the outfits wow everything looks insane but i also especially love her in the front here here with the with the headpiece here insane Definitely my favorite looks from the music video. And a worthy finish to the song. Now again. It's Yurin. Uh, I know who Kogana is, I know who Harvey is. And then the other four. I think Maya was the rapper? I think Maya was the other rapper that we usually have in the rap section. I think the one that did the I'm Satahiti, da da da. 
um, they like mention Hinata as I think the blonde, and then Chisa and Yuria are the two vocalists that we always see, or that I always hear. So her and her. Am I correct? Yurin, Hinata, Kokuna, Maya, Hinata. Wait. Oh, that's Harvey. Harvey, Hinata, Yurin, Kokuna, Maya, and then Chisa and Yuria. Correct? Not sure. Hopefully, up until the next coming, I've learned all the names, not just a couple of them. Um. Anyways, though, in terms of scale of the music video, definitely probably the most impressive because again it looks great and it's just visually extremely captivating and big and major even though i probably still think that the girl gang music video has the most style it's just so insane to me you know what they did with that but then also the the performance video was pretty good for a performance video like huge level for a performance video the tgif music video was also you know for the concept we were going for which like I mentioned was really trippy also incredible and then New Dance, obviously the most simple music video from them all, that definitely felt the most like your regular K-pop music video, but still really felt big in comparison to some others. What I'm trying to say is production level of this entire album and its output, like I mentioned, I think each song on this album got a music video. I believe. Okay, the production value of this album in terms of music videos we put out for it are genuinely unbelievable um which like mentioned again makes me wonder holy shit how much money does their company have but the songs in my opinion also really really are great now i do believe that both left right and shooting star probably remain my favorite xg songs as far so at least sonically they didn't overdo them or like you know outdid themselves um no, actually, music video wise too, the, the level is still on the same level, but I think left and right and shooting star are on their own way, on right, still just insane. If anything, I think the music video quality is as good. TGIF is probably my favorite song from the album, um, but all in all, it's such a great release, okay? From the intro songs to the main title tracks, which are like mentioned for this, in this case. Everything on this album delivers in its own way. It's very variety filled too. Yeah, I think no song feels like the other, you know, each song really has its own feeling and vibe to it. Also very different to the previous songs before that too. So in terms of uniqueness, variety, and just general enjoyment, just when we look at the audio itself, incredible EP. And when you then also look, like mentioned, at the entire product with the music videos on top of it, it's an absolutely mind-blowing production. So yeah, XG with this album, once again, in my opinion, really, really set a standard that very few groups can reach in terms of production value. Um, their songs are really good and really enjoyable. Like I mentioned, I did listen to Winter Without You already, and that was an incredible ballad, so they can do that too. Yeah, they, they can do ballads as well. So what can they do? Yeah, what can they do at this point? Um, we will see when they, you know, have to come back this year, which I'm very, very excited for. Yet, the moment I hear we're getting an actually comeback, I will be, I will be excited because we're going to be getting once again some absolute mind blowing music videos and hopefully some more incredible songs. So yeah. This is it for the XG special where I now finally probably checked out their um, new dance EP from start to finish. A really, really good one. Um, each song is a highlight in its own way. Uh, each music video is a highlight in its own way. Such an incredible product and output. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I definitely did. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below to show me that you did. Let me your thoughts on all the songs and everything I said and answering my questions, all that type of stuff down below in the comments as well. And as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, if you want to support me, gladly leave it up as well. Check out my previous XG reactions and, you know, just, just stick around for the channel. It will help me a lot. Um, yeah, whenever XG has a comic, we will be checking that out. Maybe I will check out the Winter Without You music video too. Like I mentioned, I already know the song a bit better than the others. I'm not even sure how many streams I have on it. It doesn't matter too much anyways. Again, when XG has a comeback, I will be checking it out this time right away. Yeah, like I mentioned, I'm in a much better place mentally and just general when it comes to K-pop now than it was at the time of this album release, which was like mentioned it's problem for me yeah if it was released a bit before that maybe i would have actually been able to check it out um, but i just couldn't win it originally did um but anyways i hope you enjoyed this video um and i hope you have a wonderful start into new year week and i see you again soon on my channel